Well, welcome, you folks. We're delighted to have you with us this afternoon. This is the uh, uh, 15th of November of 2023. My name is Dawn Snow, and I'm in Provo, Utah. And our host is Gerhard Roof. He's in Orem, Utah, which is right next door to Provo. And uh, we have some people online here on Zoom. And uh, he's having Gerhard's having trouble getting this going on Facebook, so we may have to uh, just post it on Facebook afterwards. We usually broadcast simultaneously on Facebook uh, as well. Uh, this is the uh, Utah Valley Technology and Genealogy Group. That's what that U-V-T-A-G-G -G stands for there in the middle. And uh, it's a family history update classes. That's a series of classes that I've been doing for many, many years now. Um, our subject today is on finding U.S. death records. Uh, and uh, uh, part of it is, is documenting your own life. Before, we talked about last month, we talked about birth records. And before that, we talked about how do you label stuff, uh, your, your own records, how do you document your own life, what sorts of things can you find. And so today we want to talk about death records. Now, this doesn't include your death records, hopefully, but, uh, but it does include your ancestors and uh, ways to label them, ways to find them, uh, et cetera. Now, on the, uh, uh, this, this slide shows you the kinds of things that we're going to be talking about. And I'll show you the notes here. There's a, a, a set of notes on, of that are on my website that are detailed, and I'll show you that in just a second. And Gerhard usually posts a link to those uh, in the chat on, uh, uh, on, on the Zoom page, as well as in the comments on the Facebook page. These are the things we're going to be looking at. Uh, death records are by state. In most cases, there are different states, but I'll, and I'll show you a way to find them depending on the state that you're interested in. I'm going to show you some examples uh, from both Utah and from uh, uh, California. I was born in California, and so my dad died down there, and, so, and others did too. So there, we're going to talk about certified uh, records. Uh, uh, some of those are actually online for free now. There, you can't get a certified record online without sending in a note and sending a check or a Venmo account or something. Uh, and you usually have to pay for them, but some of them have been scanned and are available uh, uh, the copies of the certified records. They're not good for insurance purposes or something like that, but they're, most genealogists don't need certified copies. Just the copies of what's in the original record is uh, what we need. We'll look at some websites uh, for uh, different things. Uh, there's the Social Security Death Index. We'll talk about what that is, and that's very helpful. That's on at least three different places that I'm aware of. We'll look at, uh, uh, well, let's see, I don't know that we'll look at obituaries, but there are obituaries from newspapers, and we'll show you where some links are that you can find uh, those sorts of things. Uh, the cemeteries and tombstones, and there's some really good uh, 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 records for those now. Uh, we'll, there's links in the notes for that, and I'll show you the notes here in a minute. And uh, death indexes. There are indexes for uh, uh, death records in uh, well, many states have them. California does and others do. And then what do you do with them when you find them? The snapshots of uh, the screenshot and, uh, and or uh, the downloading the, the entire uh, uh, web page. Uh, now, the class notes for this class and for all of my classes are on that website that's listed there, uvtag.org, and then class slash classes, then slash dawns, and then slash dawns hyphen classes dot html. Now, if you forget all that stuff, you can just if you just use the uvtagg dot org, and then look for resources, click on that menu, you'll find Dawn Snow's webpage. Uh, their notes are on there. The links as to how to watch these, how to watch the other videos that are on YouTube and Facebook are on there, and uh, class notes go back for oh twenty years, I think of my classes uh, that are uh, that are on there. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to look at some demos here in a minute, but let's look at the notes first. Um, so I'm going to shift gears here. Let's see, an alt tab, if I can see the tab, and find where the notes are. I think these are, the, yes. Uh, okay, well, this, this is, that's the class, the, my notes page. That's where that link takes you to. And on here, there's several sub pages. 
uh, on here that listed at the top. And then there's the links for watching these and for where the videos are stored and so on. Then classes coming up. That's today. Down, further down, I'll scroll down just a little bit further. These are all the past classes for this year that we've had. There's past classes for the last year and all that. And the links are all there for the notes for each of those classes. Now, today, we're on the, uh, the classes coming up. This first one here, this is 2023, right over here where I'm circling with the mouse. I don't know whether you can see the mouse, but it's circling the date. Uh, 2023 11 15. That's written in international date format, which is four digits for the year, two digits for the month, and two digits for the date. That makes it, well, you'll see later, there's a note in the, in the class notes today. That makes things sort alphabetically if you use that format. It's not genealogy format, it's the international date format. Uh, and so here's the link on it and so if you click on that link finding us death records i've already clicked on it so that's right over here that's that takes you to this page now on this page let's let's walk through these so that you can see what's here so that uh, you'll know what we're talking about and uh, nearly everything we say today will be in here uh there's a welcome and an introduction here and there's my email address if you're watching this six months from now and you want to email me with a question, uh, feel free to. I'll be glad to try and answer it uh, uh, for you later on. Uh, there's, I always put a couple of hints in here about uh, uh, because they're not well known, but they're easy to do. If you want to put a link to my notes or any other web page, just drag the from in front of, see up here at the top, this is, this is in Chrome, but whatever browser you use, right in front of that browser, there's a little icon. Drag that over onto your desktop and you'll have a link that when you click, it'll take you right to whatever page you were on. Uh, a second note here that is not well known, but very helpful. If you wanna use my notes and you wanna keep your place in the notes, hold down the control key when you click on the link. That will open the link in a new web page, a new tab, and so it'll keep the old one right where you were. That's really helpful if you're dealing with something like a Google search or something where you got a whole string of things and you don't want to you want to stay at one point on it. Now here's uh, some information about death records. That's this this long column here. Let's, let's just talk a little bit about this uh, right now. Um, death records are some are certified. The certified ones come from government agencies. It could be a state, it could be a city, it could be a county, uh, and different place. And sometimes you get them from all three. Like I've got a certified birth certificate of me from the Los Angeles city, one from Los Angeles County, and one from the state of California. So I got three certified copies. Each one, they're they're essentially the same thing, but they come from different uh, uh, agencies. <laughs> those cost usually a few dollars and uh, they're available uh, by writing to different places. And you'll see on the links uh, further on when we do the demos here, where to write if you're interested in, in birth or marriage or death certificates or adoption, something like that from other places. We're talking about death certificates today. And so the link will be for primarily for death certificates uh, on the, the stuff today. Uh, most genealogists don't need certified copies just uh, just a, a copy of the certified copy is good enough. And some of those are actually posted online now. I just, well, I'll look we'll into to that later. Uh, so if you want a certified copy, which you need, and usually the mortuaries now take care of certified copies. I remember when my wife died 11 years ago, uh, the mortuary said, how many copies do you want? And I think we got 10 copies and we needed a bunch of them for uh, insurance and social security and other stuff. And in most cases, they keep the the uh, uh, certificate. And so uh, we needed the extra copies. And I think I've still got a couple of those copies. But for genealogy, a copy of the copy is all you need, a copy of the certified one. But there's uh, some information about there on that. Listed on further down here are the government agencies and uh, that do these things. And then uh, 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 where you can find other types of records. Now, there are death records. There are lots of different sorts of death records. There's the certified things. Then there's, there's information obituaries, for example, in newspapers. Some newspapers actually publish uh, uh, death uh, lists of deaths, like they do lists of birth. Uh, there are death indexes that some states have made up. There are uh, 
uh, gravestone markers. Uh, there's two wonderful websites that work with Family Search, uh, Billion Graves and Find a Grave. And you can actually find photographs of the gravestones uh, uh, on those uh, uh, from around the country. And they're added too regularly so that they're, they, they keep updating them. And so if you don't find it now, check again in six months, and it might be that somebody's now photograph that tombstone and it's on there and so on there anyway there are lots of sources of uh, major uh, uh, major sources of finding death records and i'll show you the link to find a good share of those here in a couple of minutes now the next thing down here is uh the websites for uh u.s death records uh that first link on there on item 12 is the is the a uh, great article that's on family search on uh, the Wiki, Family Search Wiki. It's called Research Wiki. You get to it by going to Family Search, and then under Search, the bottom item is Research, uh, Research Wiki. That'll take you to it right. That link right there, and and that will we'll look at in a minute because that has got links to all the states and all the other uh, places. There's a Social Security Death Index uh, about U.S. deaths. That's from 1935. Uh, that's I think that's the first death that's in there is around 1935. And it goes up to, depending on the version you're looking at, goes up to two or three or four years ago. Uh, there are different versions of that uh, database, uh, one on Family Search, one on Ancestry, one on Heritage Quest Online. And I, as I recall, there was one group that updated it on a regular basis, and I think it could have been Ancestry, but I can't remember. Most of them now go back about uh, the deaths are only back to about uh, oh three or four years ago they're not they're not in the, in the last couple of years and uh, some some uh, uh, legislatures uh, legislators uh, were told that uh, if that was available the, so people would know that people had died they were stealing the social security numbers and they were using those of people who had died uh, it turns out that almost the opposite is true. Now you can't check that, so they can use a, a social security number of somebody that's died recently, and you have no way of checking to see whether that's a valid uh, social security number. Uh, I remember reading an article uh, uh, about that uh, once before. Uh, so anyway, they're not up to date, uh, and I'm, uh, I won't show you an example here, but it's worthwhile mentioning uh, for anybody who died just recently in the uh, in the U.S. Uh, for newspapers, uh, the if you're in Utah and looking for the Utah newspapers, the uh, digital newspapers dot uh, org is a wonderful website that the goal is to to uh, to uh, PDF to make PDF files of all the newspapers, every newspaper in the state of Utah. And they've got millions of pages online now. They got grants from different places, and they're always asking for donations. But it's it's free to use. Uh, you can find things like school newspapers on there, uh, or the yearbooks. The BYU yearbooks uh, are uh, on there that they've scanned. And so if you type in a name or a, an area, you can find information on there. Sometimes yearbooks list who died that year or or something like that. So anyway, it's a, a wonderful source and it, it's it's completely free uh, to use. Uh, lots of different sorts of things from uh, from that. Um, in California, there's a California digital newspapers uh, or well, a lot of the states have uh, digital newspapers now. So do a, maybe a Google search or some of them will be listed in that research wiki uh, article uh, or articles in the different states. Uh, but sometimes just a Google search will find uh, uh, the information. There's the links for the tombstone ones, the uh, billion graves and the find a grave. And those are worthwhile checking because they're, they're uh, all over the U.S. In fact, they're all over the world. I think both of those are worldwide, but uh, you can find lots of information on there. Uh, to find compiled uh, death indexes and so on, try uh, maybe searching for California death index. Uh, that's one that I came across that is list, listed. Uh, it lists, it's not the details, but it does list the date, list where they lived, uh, the county, and so on. And uh, that's where I found my dad listed and my brother uh, listed uh, who died in California and so on. Uh, a good compilation of uh, 
of uh, death records is that link that's there that I put there on item 18. Somebody has collected up a whole bunch of stuff, and I thought that looks like a worthwhile record for a uh, website for you to know about. Uh, different sorts of things are available here, and there's some examples here that I'm going to show you the results of. The California Death Index, uh, which goes from, from uh, 1940 to 1997, uh, that, that's only a piece of it. There's other parts, but that part, that includes my dad's uh, death, and he's listed on there, and there's a link to that. So I put, put a couple of those on there. The California death certificates uh, that from, from 18, uh, 1849 to 1999, uh, that includes my dad's uh, dates of death. Uh, and my brothers and a couple of others. I discovered that quite by accident on Heritage Quest Online, and I've not found a link to it anywhere else, uh, but it's on Heritage Quest Online, which you can get to using your public library card. Uh, most public libraries in Utah have a link to it uh, on either on their website or on the, I think they call it Pioneer Database, something like that. It's a it's a uh, statewide database, and you type in your the barcode on your your uh, library card, and that gets you into Heritage Quest Online. And by looking at some of the other records that they have on there, they've got copies of the original certificates. And so uh, it took me a couple of hours to find my dad's. I knew the date he died, and but they're it looks like they're sent in. It looks like they're compiled by the date the doctor sent them in. And so they may have had six or eight or 10 or 20 uh, that they sent in at once. And so those all seem to be together. So they're not indexed. So you have to look. But I found it quite by accident. And I found my dad's on there by looking for it. So and I'll show you a picture of that uh, here in, in a couple of minutes, as well as the certified copy we have. <clears throat> then saving copies of records. There's a couple of links here. What do you do with it if you find one online? Uh, I use the the program called fast stone capture it's a shareware uh, which means you can use it uh, free try it out and if you like it you're under your under honor to pay for it uh, but nobody's going to send you nag notices if you if you don't pay for it but i liked it so much uh, because it would do so many things that i began paying I, well i paid once for it twenty dollars i think it must have been five or ten years ago and that gives me all the upgrades at no charge uh, from then on Shareware means that you're you can you can use the whole program, and if you like it, you're on your honor to pay for it, which is usually five, ten, twenty dollars. And in this case, I think it's nineteen ninety five or something. I use that on a regular basis, and they update it, and that will even do scrolling screens. So if you want to do a picture of all my notes here, this is a scrolling screen on the notes. It will actually do the whole scrolling screen. It's one of the few programs that does it. Uh, I frequently download the whole website if I find something on there, and I use the program Evernote for it. I got to thinking just this morning, I should have added on here, I'm using my smartphone now to uh, photograph documents because it makes them, uh, the, the program Evernote that I use on here, it, it, it's a commercial program, but there's a free version. Uh, it will actually say, oh, this looks like a rectangular piece of paper. Maybe I should make it nice and rectangular and make the colors all the same on it and uh, take out the wrinkles if it's, you know, if it's uh, uh, twisted a little bit and uh, square it all up and save it. Uh, and I've been using that. It's, it's just as good as a scanner. And you can take it with you. It's in your pocket and you can uh, photograph the stuff. And so I've been using that a lot for the recently creating file names here. You'll see some examples of the file names and there's a system that I've worked out over the years that really helps in keeping track of, of the system. Uh, and, and down at the bottom here is a couple of examples and I'll show you some examples as we work uh, through this. Uh, the, uh, 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 the program, everything is what makes this work and everything is a, a, a free program, which, we're going to log into uh, right about now, I think. Okay, so that, that anyway, those are the notes, so you can see what's what's on the notes. Now, let me click on the Alt tab and uh, get back over here to, uh, uh, let's see, I guess I want to get to, uh, let's see, is that the one? Well, let's see, I can, I can probably get to it from, uh, where did I put my, is this? 
I can't, uh, my eyesight is getting so poor. Uh, I'm looking for everything on here. I think I had it open. Oh, I think it's just probably this, this I think it's this no, it's, one. It's right, right under demos. Is that, is it, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm going to turn on the magnifier here so I can see this. You can probably read that over on the left side, but the magnifier on here, this is built into windows. Let's see, hold down the windows key and hit plus and it turns on the magnifier and there's the magnifier. Now I can read it. It's big enough to read this. By the way, this is my mom, my computer monitor here is a 50 inch TV screen with the HDMI cable uh, because my eyesight is getting uh, so poor. Now, this is the program, everything. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let me type in up here. The, what, what you're seeing here on the left is a complete list after it, it alphabetizes everything. Everything that's on all three of the hard drives on my computer. There's about uh, five terabytes of hard drive space on this computer, three different hard drives. And this is cataloging everything that's in all of them. And so er what it will find is it will find everything on here. Now, let me let me show you an example of a death record. Let me type in uh, Diane. That's my wife, D-I-A-N-E, -A -A, Diane Manwaring. And so there's everything with the words Diane and Manwaring. And, and you saw how fast that worked. And this is a fast computer, but it's not that fast. Uh, death. There's everything. Whoops. Did I misspell it? D -E yeah. D-E-A. Uh, D-E-A-T-H. And where's the H? There's the H. Uh, there, there's everything that's got Diane Manwaring death. Uh, and I'll, I'll put burial to B-U-R-I-A-L. There's everything that has those characters in it on all three of these hard drives. Now, some of these are photos. Uh, there's, uh, well, I guess most of those are photos. Uh, what I've got, the only thing I'm showing you here is photos. Let me click on one and show you what, uh, what it is. Let me click on the top one. Over here on the right is a picture of her, the tombstone. It's, it's here in the Provo Cemetery. There's Diane's name on the left. There's my name on the right. There's the kids names uh, on there. And that's the St. George Temple. And uh, that's a picture of the tombstone up here in the East Lawn uh, Cemetery. Now, now take a look at the way I've written that. Because these are photos, I haven't started with her name. I've started with the name photo. Uh, the, if, if you look on the notes there, you'll see there are two examples, one with photo and one with, uh, with documents and so on. The next thing on there is the date that this was taken. And or in this case, it's a photograph. And so there's the date and that was taken. And uh, if I can read that in 20, uh, what does it say? I, I, 20, 2015. Yeah, she died in 20, 2012. So that was taken a year later. And there's the date on it, written in international date format. And then the information is on there uh, as to what that was, et cetera. Now, some of this stuff uh, I haven't updated. I usually use capitals for some of the keywords that I put in there. And this one, I see uh, there's down here at the bottom, you see one. Here's one that's where there are capitals where it says death, burial. Those are keywords. There's another picture of the tombstone. And uh, look, you can see me holding the camera up there to take a picture in the, sh in the shadow of it. I, I, what I need to, what I really ought to do is trim off just the stuff around it so that it's not. The, well, let me turn off the magnifier so you can see it better. Uh, that's the picture of it uh, on there uh, with me holding the camera up there. Uh, I'm just going to arrow up and down. Let's see if I arrow down. That's the same picture. It's in here. There's another picture that was taken probably at a different date. Uh, 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 here, there's a picture of what it looks like overall from up uh, her tombstone is the big one right there in the middle and the, bo the bottom and there's two or three pictures the same and there's another picture that's another date on it so that, that's the, my labeling for uh, photographs that's on there let me turn my magnifier back on so I can get back and show you the other stuff that we want to uh, uh, there we go uh, let me type in uh Let's, let's do my dad. Uh, Eldon Snow. What did I type wrong? E-L-D-L-N. Oh, I got Snow wrong. There's Eldon Snow. 
And, uh, and but notice how quick that thing works. This is everything. Uh, the program called everything. Elden Snow, death. D H. There's death and burial. Uh, there's information on him. Uh, let me just click on one of these things and show you what's here. <laughs> there's a picture of his tombstone. And that was taken from, uh, is this find a grave? Yeah, that's find a grave. So there's a picture of the find a grave. Now that was a, just a screenshot of the find a grave uh, tombstone for my dad. He's buried down in, in the, the forest lawn uh, in the Burbank uh, Hills. Uh, we lived in North Hollywood uh, in those days. And so then, see, I've labeled it find a grave on here uh, with a different information. There's, there's well, there's find a grave, et cetera. Now, uh, take a look at the, the general, the way I've done this. Snow Eldon Stafford. I always put the surname first, then the given names. Then in parentheses, the birth year and death year. That means you don't need to put junior and senior or third if that was not really part of the name uh, because it'll tell you what the date is. Then the uh, a dash and then the event, uh, the date of the event. He died on the, the 15th of uh, April of 1954. I was in the Navy in those days in San Diego, so I could come home to North Hollywood uh, for the funeral. Uh, and then the information about it, death and uh, burial and uh, when I took the picture and all the rest of the details are in there. Now, if you if you do this by putting the surname first, uh, and if it's a woman's name, I put her name first, like my wife, I put Manwaring, that was her maiden name, Diane, and then in parentheses, I put Snow. Uh, that means it all the stuff for her will alphabetize before she got married as well as afterwards. And if they're married more than one time, two different parentheses. My grandma was married to Snow first and then to Condi after Snow died. Uh, and so, uh, so she got two paragraphs, two uh, parentheses after hers. Then the event date, then uh, keywords, like you can see death and burial in here, and then information about what else is there, uh, Forest Lawn Cemetery or whatever, wherever it is and whatever is uh, occurring uh, on that. And these, some of these are duplicated. That's why you see more in here. If I just arrow down, you can see over on the right, you can see the, uh, I'll, I'll move this over to the right so you can see more of it. Uh, these are different things that I've copied, copied from indexes and various things uh, on there. Uh, there's a picture of a, a, probably a death certificate or something. Uh, what I wanted to find down here was, well, let me type in, uh, uh, death. Let me type in certificate because this is the one that illustrates. Uh, there's the death. Let's see. Let me get rid of burial and type in C E R T I F I C A T E. There we go. <clears throat> Notice that these are. Let me click on that top one. That's well, that's let me click on the other one first. There's a scan. That's a, a photograph. Uh, of my dad's death certificate. That was the certified copy, and I just photographed it. Uh, notice that this was before I started using the program that would square it all up, because you see a you see the background around there. If I'd used the, and I doubt I'd go back and redo this, it would cut out that background and it'd say, oh, this is a rectangular piece of paper. Uh, just uh, keep that on there. And so that's that's the certified copy. I think this is probably another copy of the certified yeah that's another certified but look at this one that's the same certificate but online and available free now this is the one that i got in there california u.s uh uh utah u.s county birth and death records from 1849 to 1994 and this came from uh, uh, that I found quite by accident on Heritage Quest online. There's his death certificate, uh, photo, uh, just a, a photocopy of it on there. Now, there are some Utah death certificates and there are California. You may find others on there. Let me go back to the notes and actually show you. Let me minimize this thing now so that we're not in uh, in that and go back and actually show you. Click on that. for. Well, let me turn off the magnifier. Uh, I think I can still see it. Yeah, because this is big enough. I'm going to go back and show you that article. 
uh, about death row, the websites. This article right here, item number 12, the link, let me see if I click on it, if it will do it. Uh, click right there. And uh, there it is. This is a, a, a great article. Uh, it's in the research wiki on family search. And there's all the states listed. And this is how to find U.S. death records. Now, if you look at whatever state you're interested in, so who's you're interested in, in let's find Utah. Uh, there's, there's Utah. I think I'm clicking on the right thing. Yeah, how to find Utah death records. If you look down through this kind of stuff, you'll see in here all these different uh, sorts of things. Now, that's too small for me to read what's on there. I'd have to turn the magnifier back on, but I won't uh, take time to do that now. You'll see bunches of things like here's a bunch of records. Some of these are uh, I found on here certificates even. Death cert this. Is that certificates? No, that's registers. Death registers and so on. Scroll down here and there are links to all these different things, including some of the Utah death certificates that are actually online to photograph. This, this link is, if you don't get anything else out of this whole talk, that link is probably the best, uh, the most important thing for you to to uh, to use in order to get uh, to these death records, uh, because it's it's got every state and it's got all these things and they're very useful and very helpful. Now let me get back to uh, our PowerPoint and uh, we're over time, so we need to finish up here. Okay, so we've looked at some demos here of the Family Search Wiki articles. There's lots of those are examples, screenshots and the websites. I won't take time to show you the websites, but I copy a website by using that Evernote file, and it's simple to do, and then I can relabel it uh, later on. File naming, we've talked about in examples, uh, using everything. Uh, okay, now uh, on here, here's a summary as to what we've looked at. Finding these death records by state, they're mostly by state uh, here in the U.S., um, certified, some are online now for free, and websites, there's uh, several different links for websites and suggestions for naming the files and keeping track of, of what's gone on. Now, are there, we're, we're over time. We actually started late, but we're still over time. Have you got any questions or quick comments that we might be able to answer or take care of now? And if you do, if you're on Zoom, just unmute your mic and ask it. And if you're on, I don't know whether Gerhard ever got this running on Facebook now, but uh you're welcome to ask a question if you have one. Anything at all? I have one, Don. Okay. The uh, When you use the term websites to download using uh, Evernote, uh -huh. are you talking about multiple pages or just a complete page? Uh, that complete page. Uh, it may go on, it may scroll down, but it, it, it doesn't... It, Okay. It's just whatever is on that page. Yeah, you're not making a copy of the whole website, just that page that you're. Yeah, yeah, viewing. yeah. I probably ought to change that. I probably ought to say web page rather than websites okay. that I make copies of. Yeah, uh, I okay. have made just... copies of the whole website, but not with Evernote. Okay, thank you for clarifying right. that. Anything we else? We have a we have an interesting death situation down here in uh, St. George. Um, someone died, and um, but his remains were not found for several days. So <clears throat> up to this point, they've just indicate indicated the date when his remains were found, oh. but they don't put <clears throat> a death date. It's going to be interesting to see <laughs> how the, the government at some point uh, determines what the death date is going to be, or if they just use the date that his remains were found. Did they put uh, even an estimate on the death certificate as to the date? Uh, I've dead? never seen a death certificate. This was oh. <clears throat> this was just part of an obituary. Um, you oh. know, it's, uh, it said that he was found on such and such a date, but they never <clears throat> indicated by anybody what he, what was going to be classified <laughs> as his his death date i think <clears throat> the coroner or whoever estimated uh, or maybe it was just some preds that <clears throat> had been checking on him and 
and found him that he had been gone for three days. Oh gosh, yeah. So, some I don't know what they do in that case. I get the death. I don't know what they put for death date. Yeah, here's another yeah. interesting thing. He had a dog that he was very attached to, uh -huh. and when they found him, they also found the dog had passed away, and really? uh, the dog had food and water, but he never left the site. Uh, the side of oh my. of his master oh my oh gosh that's something isn't it oh well that's a great great question i don't know the answer to the question though i don't know what the coroner put for a death date on yeah. the situation there's one other kind of humorous thing <clears throat> they cremated the dog <clears throat> put his ashes in a little container uh -huh. and buried it with his master <laughs> great great that's all good. right that's yes. enough of incidentals. Appreciate your <laughs> class today, Don. Good. Any other questions that anybody has? And if you do, and if you don't, why email me later on, and I'll be glad to try and answer questions for you later. There's the information. Don, again. Don. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, just, uh, you have to be aware that uh, Chauncey added a, com a note on the uh, uh, the chat. Uh, great oh. overview. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks, Chauncey. Th tell Margaret hello. <laughs> God. Yeah, oh, God. They're good people. Will, will do. Thank you. Okay, great. There's my email address. If if you're watching this six months from now and you want to ask me a question, I'll be glad to try and, and do it. And there's the link for my notes down at the bottom. And uh, they're, they're, they will stay online so that you can always find those uh, afterwards. Well, thank you, people. We appreciate all of your attending today, and many of you will be watching separately later, and thank you, too.